This year is the money year. This year, I'm the money man. Omo, I'm close to Terry. Let me just say this, sis, bro. I just want to level up. Hello, sis. I'm not yet to suffer. This country and taxes, this year is for going big or go home. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I'm super thrilled to see you today. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you ways I plan to reinvent myself in 2023, okay? If you're wondering what reinventing means, reinventing means creating a version of yourself that never existed. And one thing I want to say here is that people change, we evolve, okay? And change is constant. So it's okay to feel like you want to turn your life around 360 degrees, you know, turn your life around, do things differently. And that's really my outlook for this year. So why do I feel like I need to reinvent myself? So towards the end, of last year 2022 i started feeling this need to like step up you know to change some aspects about my life to get some definitions in certain areas do better in certain areas like areas that i've not really put in a lot of effort over the years i want to do better on those areas this year and that's why i'm reinventing myself and also while i was in this process of thinking of how i'm going to reinvent myself i stumbled on a journal entry of mine from 2019 where i wrote a poem and i want to just read that poem out loud because it's also going to inspire you so it says you're not a tree you can always reinvent yourself you can always acquire new skills and explore career options you're not a tree you can change cities you can change jobs you can decide to acquire new skills and pursue something completely different or add to what you're doing you're not a tree you can move so what i want you to take out of this is you are not a tree you can make changes today you can decide to turn your life around today you can move cities you can take that leap that you've always wanted to do you can do that because you are not a tree how this analogy came to mind is you know trees when they are planted they grow roots deep into the soil while it's good to be grounded these roots make them stay there these roots bind them to that position they can't move they are stuck in that position you are not a tree you you can move you can change so it's okay to want to reinvent yourself and do things differently and let's get right into it the very first way i plan to reinvent myself is to create routines and habits i'm hoping to create like routines of different things like a skincare routine a bedtime routine i want to create routines another thing is i want to build new habits um last year i was able to create a habit out of reading and right now i love it like i i, I look forward to reading it's one of my favorite pastime activities so i'm looking at creating a habit out of several other things and one of the things i'm hoping to create a habit out of this year is journaling being able to write down the things i'm thinking about as a way to practice mindfulness one major way that i plan to reinvent myself is to define my personal style i don't know if you know what the personal style is it's the way a person looks their appearance their style choices i don't have to define it basically their fashion choices i realized from several people that are my friends people that i follow people have their personal style defined and i realized omar I'm close to Terry. I'm close to Terry. And I don't know what my personal style is. I actually asked a friend one time to help me shop for some items. And one of the questions she asked me was, oh, what's your personal style? And it hits me. I'm like, I really don't know. I wear everything and anything, sis. Hello, help me. I don't know. I don't have a personal style. And I realized this year, that's something I'm really intentional about. I want to have a personal style. I want to have a way I dress. I want to have a way that when you see me or a glimpse of me, you know it's me because you know how I always represent myself and in short to get this started i've already started speaking to personal stylists so that it can help me define my style i'm also looking into like personal styling courses like this is something i'm particularly interested in and also hand in hand with personal styling defining my personal style is more aesthetic like i'm looking into leaning into the more aesthetic side of things i realized that i actually like aesthetic things like i like videos that are clean i like places that are beautiful i've been able to actually achieve a certain aesthetic in my house i'm realizing i can achieve that kind of aesthetic as well with my life with the way i present myself which you can already see in the last video that i put out i tried to put in more effort in how i looked um and then this video as well obviously there is effort <laughs> there is effort here like i want to look good every time i step out i want to put effort generally over the years i've always been the girl that doesn't put effort in how she looks it's not like i look tacky don't get me wrong i don't look tacky i don't look shabby but like i'm not the person that will be stressing over thinking what to wear how to coordinate this um when i wake up that morning anything i feel like wearing most times i just throw on a t-shirt and i'm out but this year i don't know i just feel 
and I want to put in more effort in my appearance, I want to always look like pleasing to the eyes. <laughs> if that makes sense. And this is not for anybody. This is just for me. I want to like the way I see myself, if that makes sense. Let me also put this here. I've never struggled with self-esteem. It's not self-esteem issues, not at all. I just want to like look better and just like change the way I've looked over the years. Another thing that I'm leaning into, another way I plan to reinvent myself is to lean into luxury, which kind of goes with aesthetic as well. Like I want to lean into luxury luxury like this year i'm for the luxurious lifestyle hello sis i'm not yet to suffer this year i'm gonna create little pockets of luxury in my house this can be like treating myself to nice perfumes treating myself to massages spa dates stuff like that like i want to treat myself into luxury because it is my year of luxury it is my year of abundance all around another way i plan to revenge myself is to invest in my scent so over the years i always use perfume but i always use one perfume part time I actually did not realize that perfume layering is something people do. This year, <laughs> I want to invest in my scent. I want it such that every time someone sees me or meets me, they're like, oh my God, you smell nice. Like I want you smell nice to be one of my greatest compliments this year because i'm really investing in in it i've already purchased some perfumes here and there there's some of my friends that are really good with layering perfumes i've already reached out to them to know how they layer it like i'm serious about the compliment of you smell nice another way i plan to reinvent myself is healthy living i already started doing this last year when i wanted to lose weight but this year now my focus is no more on losing weight but more on being fit okay so i want to go to the gym i want to build that body that i want i want to be more conscious of the things that i eat i'm already doing that but i want to be even more conscious of the things that i put into my body i want to be more conscious of drinking water like with the healthy living part it also has to do with like working out going to the gym um doing exercises going for walks every weekend like just being more intentional about getting my movement in on a weekly basis because the thing is the older you get the easier it is for you to gain weight the easier it is for you to become sluggish so i'm trying to make like intentional intentional effort or I am going to make intentional efforts this year to be more active. Another way I plan to reinvent myself is skincare. So all through the years, I am not a skincare person. If someone asks me, what's your skincare routine? Omo, it's water, vibes, and God's glory. That's what keeps me fresh, okay? But this year, I want to intentionally invest in skincare. The basic thing that I had last year, I actually got a moisturizer for the first time. I've never used a moisturizer. It was last year I started using a moisturizer and sunscreen. But this year, I want to take this step further. I want to have like proper skincare and also like i said earlier make a routine out of it i've already invested and let me just say this sis bro why is skincare expensive like i almost broke the bank trying to buy the things i already got so i got a couple things from sephora paula's choice and i'll be trying it out and hopefully i would see the improvement in my skin another way i plan to reinvent myself this year is to seek professional coaching and accountability where needed one thing i've noticed about myself is i like to do things on my own which which is not necessarily a bad thing but it's not a good thing as well like i like to do things on my own and i'm realizing that if if you want to go far you need guidance so this year i'm going to be very intentional about seeking coaching in several areas of my life so like career coaching business coaching i'm going to spend money on that i'm going to look for people that would hold me accountable to my goals and just so that i can go further for the past years i've been going far with my goals like i've gone far but i want to go even further so this year i'm going to actually seek coaching and accountability on the different aspects of my life just so i can see better results the next thing i'm doing this year to reinvent myself is to take bold steps this year is not for playing it safe this year anything i want to do i'm doing it so i realized that i've always been telling myself that oh i want to travel i want to explore the world but i've actually not done that this is 2023 why have i not started exploring the world like what's my excuse and when i think about it i'm like I really don't know because I can actually afford to travel. So what's stopping me? I've always been saying I want to explore, I want to explore, I want to explore. Okay, let me be honest. I know what's stopping me. What's stopping me is fear of flights. I don't like flying. But this year, I'm taking what? Bold steps. So I'm facing my fears head on. I'm going to travel this year by God's grace. I'm going to fly. I'm going to explore places. Not just flying. Like, I'm going to send that email. If there's someone I want to reach out to, I'm taking that bold step. I'm sending it. I mean, I've always done this before, but it wasn't like a conscious thing. This year, I'm fully conscious about taking those audacious steps, taking those bold steps towards pursuing my goals, towards achieving the things I've always wanted to do. This year is for going big 
or go home and then another way i plan to reinvent myself is money okay money i said i want to live a luxurious lifestyle if i want to do that i need money right and when i say money it's more financial growth financial education last year i started diving deep into learning about the uk financial system and how i can maximize that to earn interest and earn returns so even further this year i'm going even deeper like my dive is deeper this year i want to make money in this country like because i did not grow up in the uk of course i'm already like at a disadvantage in the way because there's so many things about the uk's money system that i don't even know until last year i said learning about things like capital gains tax i didn't even know there's something like that this country will this country and taxes anyway so this year i'm diving more into learning about money in the uk making my money work so i made my first investment in the uk last year but this year i'm looking to even invest more i'm looking to grow my money i'm looking to apply the knowledge i have already learned about money this year to level up my finances this year is the money year this year i'm the money man this year we are making money so intentional steps into improving my finances learning about, more about money making aggressive investment where i have to and just like trusting god all through the process that's it last but not the least which is definitely not the least i just decided to close with this is spiritual growth and um, this year i'm more intentional about creating that personal time creating that personal time with god where i see his face on everything so last year my spiritual my spiritual life was on and off it was going you know if you have a chat it will go like this up down up down up down but this year i want to try and maintain like a steady pace in my work with god and it takes intentionality remember the first thing i said i want to create habits out of things routines so i want to make it a habit out of seeking time with god daily like i have to block that time in my calendar on a daily basis and intentionally do it of course i'm going to update you guys on how everything goes maybe three months down the line maybe after the first quarter i would share with you like a check-in with how i'm doing with reinventing myself but like yo that's the plan for this year that's the plan god helping me i just want to step up like i just want to level up I just want to level up. I just want to be in a better place, if that makes sense. So let me know if you have similar plans. You can leave it down in the comment section below. I always read it. And yeah, wish me well. Wish me luck. Till next time. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>